Folks, my next guest has been a writer for Adam Ruins Everything and The Daily Show. Please welcome Alingan Mitra. Thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I just quit drinking. Okay, thank you for your support. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really quit. This is what I did. I cut down. I decided I'm only going to drink if it's a holiday or if it's somebody's birthday on Facebook. <laughs> I, got, I got a drink with this election. I'm scared people keep dismissing Trump. Like last year, there were people who were like, you guys, there is no way Trump is going to be the nominee. <laughs> and this year, there are people who are like, you guys, there is no way Trump is going to be president. I feel like next year people are going to be like, you guys, there is no way Trump is going to be supreme overlord. <laughs> people are like, oh, so you love Hillary. Look, you can be anti-Trump and not pro-Hillary. Like, just because I hate diarrhea doesn't mean I love constipation. <laughs> This is, this is how unlikable Hillary is. Trump said the most vile stuff about Latinos, and she still had to pick a vice president who speaks Spanish. <laughs> like, Trump literally said, Mexicans are rapists, and there were still Latinos out there who were like, no quiero Hillary. <laughs> it is crazy to me that people are going to vote for somebody just because they're not a politician. Like, ah, you know what I like about this guy? not a politician. It's like, yeah, but that's the job. <laughs> no other situation would you be comfortable. You'd never be like, oh my God, I'm on trial for my life, but you know what I love about my lawyer? Not a lawyer. <laughs> you, you, you get on a plane, the pilot comes on, it's like, uh, welcome to flight 242. I have uh, never done this before. <laughs> but this is what the people wanted, so please put up your tray tables. Or don't. It's not going to matter. <laughs> Pilots always have that voice, too. Uh, welcome to flight. But growing up, I'd never hear that voice. I'd hear Indian accents, never on a plane. Because if you heard that, uh, welcome to flight 242. <laughs> White people would freak out. They'd be like, red alert, he's in the cockpit already. <laughs> people, people think I look suspicious on a plane, so I have to actively do things to not look suspicious. Which, in and of itself, highly suspicious. <laughs> like, I'll smile the whole time. <laughs> Turn to the person next to me, be like, boy, I hope they're serving alcohol and pork on this. <laughs> all, all kinds of people on the plane. I met somebody the other day from Stockholm. And I was like, ooh, Stockholm, that's the capital of Sweden. He was like, yeah. <laughs> but how American of me to be like, no, you should be impressed. <laughs> I know your capital. Know. But if anybody from Sweden ever did that to an American, they're like, oh, America, your capital is Washington, D.C. We'd be like, are you serious right now? <laughs> Pretty sure it's New York. <laughs> I live, I live in New York now. My roommate has a white noise machine to help him sleep. It just goes, shh. I think the reason it's called a white noise machine is that's the sound white people make when minorities bring up issues. <laughs> Like, black, pe black people are like, we're getting shot. Like, Shh. You know? <laughs> Mexicans are like, this isn't a fair wage. Shh. 
Chinese people are like, we're actually Japanese. <laughs> Trying to be positive though. I started, I started reading positive quotes on Instagram. I just read one the other day that said, shoot for the moon, even if you fail, you land amongst the stars. Which is a beautiful, uplifting quote, if you don't know science. <laughs> Because, because the stars are trillions of times farther away than the moon. So really, the quote should be, shoot for the stars, even if you fail, you won't realize, because you'll suffocate from the lack of oxygen. <laughs> people, people say things they don't realize all the time. Like, I went to an Indian restaurant with a foodie, and he starts explaining the food to me. He's like, this is tandoori chicken. It's made in a tandoor. I was like, yeah, I know. I was made in a tandoor. <laughs> you know, you don't have to explain it. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Why don't you explain it to me? I was like, okay, obviously I don't actually know. <laughs> but this happens all the time. And I was complaining to my white friend about it. And he was like, shh. Seller here in New York City, a Lincoln Mitra, everybody. We'll be right back.